This is my supervisor, everyone. He's a master sergeant in the Air Force. I'm doing this wrong. You should be carrying the heavy stuff. I missed the part where that's my problem. Attention to orders. The President of the United States. All right, sir. Since I'm the last one, you no, said, uh... Yeah. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. So today we're going to do a vlog. I'm actually doing a uh, ceremony, a promotion ceremony. So I'm going to be narrating and emceeing for that. And the last vlog was doing pretty well for the day in the life of a Space Force Sergeant. So I figured this is something that I wish I've been doing more in documenting. But since um, we're going onto the USS Missouri. What's this? I thought it'd be a cool experience to show you guys. So I'm getting ready right now um, since I'm narrating and a part of the official party, our uniform of the day is service dress. And so um, Space Force still does not have its actual service dress. We're still using this interim Air Force Blues, Space Force Blues. Technically it's my day off. I work this weekend night shifts. So, um, but it's Friday. For some people let's just get into the uniform so i got everything ready we've got our ribbons on the side combatant command pin name tag and these garter straps which they pretty much make your shirt look nice our service uniform we wear either a long sleeve or a short sleeve um i wear a long sleeve just because the short sleeve is kind of tight i'm not gonna lie i've been eating pretty good out here but you know what Starting a meal prep. I'm um, starting to get back into it. Stop the cap. First thing that goes on first is this the long sleeve shirt. You button it down all the way, kind of running late, but that's all right because sometimes I drive fast. Yep, and so you do this, you pretty much, the ones I have, it goes underneath your foot, and then as you can see, it pulls down on your shirt, which gives it a cleaner look and it doesn't pop out of your pants. So that's step one. Step two, you gotta get your pants. Um, an interesting fact too, this service dress, at least the coat, is the one that I've had since basic training. In basic training, I was about a buck 20. Okay, so 120 pounds, and now I am 175 pounds. And uh, I'm really trying to wait until we get our space for service dress, because it would just honestly be a waste. If I, uh... Identify yourself! Who the fuck are you? So, I'm pretty much holding off on having to get a bigger one because we're gonna get our Space Force service dress. But, we, we, we really, we, we cutting it close. Okay, I've had to get new new pants. I, the pants cannot fit the same pants that I, I wore back then. I'm sure that gig line is good. I'm sweating already. Button this up because when you wear the long sleeve blue shirt, you have to wear a tie, no shame. I got a clip on, you really can't tell. You wear it like this. Long sleeve blues, and then you wear this over it. I'm not gonna wear this yet, just because it's pretty hot out here in Hawaii. Um, but yeah, got everything printed out, all the documents we needed. Now I just gotta put some product in here because I don't wanna look all crazy. Do a little bit of this. I think I definitely have the best hair in the unit. Not everyone likes to admit it, some people do, but I think it's undisputed. So um, I just have to keep keep the title and make sure that it goes strong. So really I got two choices of covers I can wear. I can wear this flight cap or this service cap which usually when you're doing color guard or honor guard, you have to wear your service cap, which is why I have one. But I think I'm just gonna bring both. All right, so we're heading to the promotion right now. And where the ceremony is taking place is actually on the battleship Missouri. So if you're not familiar with Hawaii, it's actually a really cool monument. And it's located on Fort Island. Pretty much it's a battleship. So you can also tour the battleship. You can also have promotion ceremonies. 
um, re-enlistment ceremonies and all that. Another cool, interesting fact about the USS Missouri is that it was featured in the movie Battleship with Rihanna. And although it's a museum in the movie, they ended up um, like getting all the World War II veterans to... Oh, spoiler alert. Sorry if you haven't seen Battleship. Go watch it. It's honestly... It's a, it's basically Transformers, except with battleships, which means if you're looking for like a good plot, you're probably not going to find it. But there are a lot of explosions and aliens. Um, but yeah, Battleship, uh, the USS Missouri is used in it, and they get all the World War II veterans, which is a cool like cameo to pay tribute to these guys. And um, they're like, we don't know anyone that can operate this super old ship, and it's the only battleship we've got. And they pretty much like make this museum, well... They pretty much make this battleship that is a museum that's been decommissioned and then they run it again and it becomes like an active battleship. Um, I'm in the Space Force. I'm not too sure how entirely possible that is because I'm not like a sailor or anything, but I don't think that's possible. But then again, I'm just, I'm in the Space Force. Um, yeah, but that is the same ship that we're going to be going on for today's ceremony. Is that everything? Or is it? Okay, sweet. I'm just here for the promotion. Ah, thank you. Where are you going? Yeah, that's Honor Guard, yeah. Okay. What up, what up, what up? So, yeah, we're thinking you'll just stay here, I guess. That's what. Alright. I'm gonna need this right here. Ah. Uh. Attention to orders. The President of the United States, acting upon the recommendation of the Secretary of the Air Force, has placed special trust and confidence in the patriotism, integrity promoted to the grade of Major, United States Air Force, effective the 1st of February, 2024, by order of the Secretary of the Air Force. Please be seated. Sir, since I'm the last one, no, yeah. he said, uh, <laughs> just wanted to get this. I don't, I don't know if I want to take a picture. This... No, I, it's not, it's just it's a, not, it's a recording. A So overall, I think the promotion ceremony went pretty well. Uh, I stuttered maybe a couple times while I was narrating, but I didn't break down and cry. So yeah, I think it went pretty well. But I'm gonna go in and change out of this thing um, and enjoy the reception at the Major's house, get some good food. Thanks for watching the video, and as always, um, if you guys enjoy the video, give it a like. If you haven't subscribed, go in and subscribe. And I'm really still getting used to vlogging honestly like in my car out in public walking around with a camera it's very it, i'm just kind of ashamed but you know i just gotta take it and run with it just like how i narrated today golly it's hot in here i actually um turned off my ac so it, it's not blowing and you don't get distracted by the sound so it's freaking hot wow lord please save me um yeah but as always Stay safe, keep grinding, and y'all take it easy.